Well, howdy, tubers. Well, we're getting a little snow here. I don't know if you can, if, probably never seen my house in the front or anything like that before anyway, so don't know what to uh, judge it by. But that goes down probably another six inches. Whole part of that was from my cousin in Tennessee, and I had to find the rest of the stuff to get it so my mom and dad would have a easier way in. But it is still snowing slightly. Uh, getting some of the snow off. Coke. Well, I got one wing here, and there's my wing carrier. Nobody said anything about that, so I guess that wasn't interesting or helpful. But we're heading out. Yeah. There's a stabilizer, which I didn't, I should have went ahead and did a little video while I had that on. I already got the torpedo going. In fact, I guess it's still got it up on the, on the stand here while I was put, putting it on and off. Uh, but I got a call from Steve from Hummel yesterday because he's seen the video about about the stick and uh, of course he says he says it's not it's, it's not the elevator one that's causing the bind it's because of I'm guessing you can hear me. It's because of these hind joints here. Because they're a, a, um, a thinner hind joint than all the rest of them are, so that they'll fit in between the, the distance you've got in the, in the stick here. It's, so they're thinner, so they don't rotate as far as what the normal ones do. Uh, if I remember right, I think he said, okay, like these will turn. I, I thought he said like 40 degrees on these. Yeah. I thought he said those turn like 40 and these turn like 20. So that's where the that's where the bindings at. So by putting the stabilizer on there yesterday, and of course hooked up the elevator, got the push rod hooked up. Well, I'm trying to see if if just this amount of movement will be enough, or if I move it like that, if this amount of movement will be enough to move the elevator the required amount of movement that they want. And uh, let's see. Well, I'm not seeing it here, but uh, but I know um, Steve said that the let's see, maybe it's on the next page says that there are supposed to be 25 degrees of up elevator travel or more and uh, oh I think it's like okay well that's on the rudder but here we go uh, confirm the rudder verify tail wheel okay confirm that full back stick permit 25 degrees of up elevator and 15 degrees of down trim, oh, or a down elevator. 
confirm cotter pins are in place. So, uh, I, I hadn't planned on keeping the stabilizer on because of the of the room and I was and I was going to eventually need of course to get my 1970s version snowblower out and it just made more room to keep keep the stabilizer off so I just put it on there got the bolts all in the hole but I didn't tighten them I just got them on there and maybe two or three turns and got the push rod adjusted and so now I still need to put it back on so that I can determine if I'm only if I'm only needing 15 degrees of down elevator well then I'm sure that I can probably work within the throws that I have here so whether or not I'll just I mean, because if I put the stabilizer back on again, it's, 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 well, I mean, it's not a hard thing to do if you got somebody helping you, but, and, and Spike used to help me. Believe me, he, he did, but, uh, it, well, encouragement, how about that? Um, but it's just kind of a, well, and, and reaching through the hole to, to get these bolts and reaching down through here to get these bolts I mean it's just something I just don't want to do on and off I mean if you put it on and leave it on that's fine but I'm just trying to keep some room and it leaves uh, or well it gives me a little more space so oh and I don't know that I, there, there's the other wing behind the car because I put I I put my van, which I usually park behind there, is behind there because I knew I wasn't going to drive the car today. Of course, uh, I haven't went anywhere. I didn't go anywhere yesterday because I was waiting for an insurance gal to come by and finally did. And so hopefully maybe that will get straightened out. And of course, here's, here's my sign and my buddy. So, um, well, I don't know if everybody else, Chris, uh, that are, well, I know um, Robert, let's see, is it Robert? And, well, is it Robert or Robbie? Anyways, in, in Missouri, of course, I'm sure he got, he's getting snow. Let's see if we got any snow there in a snow hole. Okay. Um, I'm sure he's getting snow, and of course, I just heard from Matt, and and uh, he he went off. I or he guess he started this morning to go to work, and he turned around and went back home, and he said it was really getting bad. So he's at home, but I don't believe he's working on his airplane. Of course, I can't say much because I haven't done anything, but I I do want to say. I mean, I want to get this. And I may just have to go ahead and just fight to fight it back on there again and see if I can get enough throw in the elevator that I'm satisfied with. Because of course, you need definitely more up elevator than you do down. So if I can if I can get that and then pull the stabilizer back off, uh, then uh, of course Matt was saying how I ought to go ahead and try to go ahead and hook up the instruments that I'm going to put on here on there with it um, with this cockpit skin off so and of course I still got to do the windshield bow still got to put the uh, which I guess actually I guess I could probably just work on the on the on the fairings here since I've got the outer wings done I could just go ahead and work on them so maybe that's what I'll do I'll just work on those fairings there so uh, well we'll get back on here of course it won't start out that way but we'll get back on here and so well that, and I think that's what I'll do I'll work on these fairings and uh, and then we'll get a video about that 
So there you go. I hope you guys are staying out of the snow. And if not, I hope you stay warm. And there you go. And Oh, uh, let me tell you, um, James had texted me to, a while ago saying that uh, if you guys have seen those videos, I might as well look at something else now. If you guys have seen those videos of uh, that I fly into Anderson's place where they they rebuild, build, and whatever bunch of like antique airplanes and stuff, and they got a bunch of uh, of um, Pete and Paul air campers, and I really like those. I think those are neat looking airplanes. Um, but uh, he told me that I guess he's in the hospital with with a blood clot in his leg and I know all about that because I've had that twice so I I feel his pain there and I just uh, another prayer there uh, and of course speaking of that well my dad is at a re rehabilitation place and I just heard also right before I heard from Matt was that uh, I get, oh I guess the preacher is going to stop and pick up my mom I don't know what in the world he's driving, but stop and pick up my mom and take him, to, take her to the um, rehabilitation place to, I think, maybe chew on him a little bit because they put my dad in a diaper, and I don't know that he really needs that. So prayers for him, too, and prayers for Mark Anderson that uh, got the blood clot. So I'm sorry I keep coming up with this bad news, but people do need prayers. So... Anyways, we'll get on to the, I may have to go eat first or something, but get on to uh, doing the, uh, well, I'll just show you, make it a little more longer video, I guess. Of course, I keep going over to the sign and people probably, probably, uh, as soon as I get to the sign, they just stop the video. But now, let's see, left, and we're on the right side, so... I think this one I already worked with just a little bit to get it fit in there a little better. But, so, I think that's what it'll come down and do. So, now, okay, this will be the last time. Take you over here to the spike sign. Looks like it's a little blurry. Looks like. Maybe not. Anyways, uh, there you go. And please pray for all those people. And God bless.